Technical debt is a metaphor used in software development to describe the future cost of rework or maintenance that results from choosing a quick, short-term solution over a more thorough, long-term approach. The term was introduced by Ward Cunningham to help explain to non-technical stakeholders why shortcuts in coding can lead to long-term challenges, much like financial debt accumulates interest over time. There are different types of technical debt, including deliberate debt taken on knowingly to meet a deadline, accidental debt due to poor coding practices or lack of experience, and aging debt that results from outdated technologies or neglected code. Other categories include design debt, which relates to architectural compromises, and documentation debt, where a lack of clear instructions hampers future development. Causes of technical debt vary widely. They include business pressure to release features quickly, changing requirements, inexperienced developers, insufficient testing, outdated tools, and poor team communication. Often technical debt arises from a combination of these factors and can accumulate gradually without teams realizing it until it starts to affect productivity. The effects of technical debt can be serious. As debt accumulates, it becomes harder and riskier to modify or extend the code base. This can lead to slower development cycles, more bugs, higher maintenance costs and frustrated developers. Over time, it can also impact the ability of a company to innovate and stay competitive. Despite its risks, technical debt is not always negative. In some cases, it's a strategic decision to build fast, learn quickly and improve later. For example, startups may take on technical debt to test ideas quickly. The key is to acknowledge the debt, keep it visible, and plan to repay it through refactoring, testing, or redesign. Teams use various tools and techniques to manage technical debt. Static code analysis tools like Sonar Cube and ESLint help detect code issues automatically. Agile practices such as code reviews, test-driven development, and refactoring during sprints help reduce the chances of new debt. Teams may also track debt items in the backlog and prioritize them alongside feature work. Managing technical debt effectively requires a balance between speed and quality. Agile and DevOps environments encourage frequent releases, which can tempt teams to cut corners. However, with proper planning and discipline, teams can maintain high development velocity while still addressing technical debt through regular cleanup and architectural improvements. In conclusion, technical debt is a natural part of software development, not something to be feared, but something that must be managed. When taken on consciously and repaid responsibly, it can support fast delivery and innovation. But when ignored, it can grow silently and slow teams down. Recognizing, tracking and paying down technical debt is essential for building sustainable high-quality software over time.